Today I'm staying in a hidden Airbnb in Hrofrenet, South Africa. This Airbnb is called Casa Karu and my plan is to document my stay here. I will show you a tour of the house and everything there is to do here. Let's go! Welcome to Casa Karu. This place looks amazing. Let's go check it out. Wow, I really love this house located right here in Hrofrenet, South Africa. There's definitely a warm and homey vibe in here and I think you guys will feel it as well, especially if you come and stay here. If you want to check that out, the link is down in the description below at a really great price for everything that you get here. So, let's get into the tour. You'll arrive at Casa Karu, walk up some stairs to a gate that opens up to the front patio. I've never actually stayed somewhere with a front porch before, but it's cool. I, I kind of feel American. <laughs> You'll then make your way inside. Wow. Welcome inside Casa Karu. The first thing you'll notice is this colorful passage made up of wooden floors, purple walls, and these crazy colorful pictures on the walls. On your right, at the beginning of the passage, there are these unique light switches that are throughout the house that are made up of what looks like old hotel bells. Q, the sound effect, please. Hello, service, can anyone help me? <laughs> Next to that is a room that we do not have access to because apparently it's a third bedroom that the owners keep their belongings in, so it makes sense why it's locked. Moving on, on the left of the passage, there is the first bedroom where I'm staying tonight. In this room, there is a TV on top of shelves with books underneath. If you're not interested in either of those, there are a couple board games that you can play. There's Cluedo, Monopoly, and a few others on top of this cabinet that has some spare blankets, pillows, and swimming towels. Moving on to the bed, there is a queen-size bed that looks really comfortable. <laughs> it is. <laughs> there are bedside tables on both sides of the bed and this one has really cool light. It doesn't work. Maybe it's not plugged in. And I said let there be light. <laughs> Next to the side table there's this tree leaf which is massive but it looks like it really needs some water right now. <laughs> there is an ensuite bathroom with a toilet and some nice greenery over here as well. A sink and an open shower. Yeah, this will do the job. <laughs> Moving further down the passage, there is a school spare bathroom and it is next to the master bedroom. When walking in, you're greeted by so many colors straight away from the coats, the design on the wall and this cabinet with extra linen inside. You'll turn the corner and see this king size bed that looks comfortable as well. Bed test! <sighs> Whoa, it's really comfortable. I think even more comfortable than the bed in the other room. I'm just gonna lie a couple seconds. I need a break from this tour. Do I get a drink or something? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's go. There are side tables on both sides of the bed, a colorful piece on the wall with an aircon on top of that, some cupboard space, and this tumbleweed light. Moving on to the ensuite bathroom, there is a beautiful bath, shower. I'm not actually quite sure what the purpose of this thing is, but I guess it looks cool. Sink, a bum washer, and a toilet. I think that's what it's called. I'm not actually too sure. <laughs> Let's move on to the main living room area. This is a well-decorated room that is colorful, fun, and different in a good way. There are these shelves with a lot of interesting things such as these porcupine thorns. They're not as sharp as they look. <laughs> I just had to check though. A golden strawberry and a golden banana. You think these are worth anything? I mean, it's got quite a bit of mass to it. Maybe, I don't know. There's the fireplace to keep you warm when sitting on either the couch or one of the chairs. Or you can sit in this chair and keep warm by the second fireplace. And I also love the use of all these colorful vases. Moving on to the kitchen and it is as fun as the rest of the house. It's a green and rose gold theme that works really well together. There is an island with a granite countertop and a sink in the middle. There is an oven, stove and toast on the left and a coffee and tea station on the right. At the back there is a scullery with cupboard space. There's peanut butter, tomato sauce, spices and other types of things that are already here for you to use, which is cool. A fridge, there's sauces, waters and a little milk container inside. A dishwasher and a washing machine. To go outside, you go through the sliding door that opens all the way. As you walk outside, the first thing you'll notice is the heat smacking you in the face. Ah! Oh. It literally slaps you in the face. <laughs> We're here in summer and it is actually ridiculously hot today, so luckily there's a pool here. There is a table and chairs outside here where you can sit and enjoy a nice meal. Then if you go up two stairs, you'll see a bra area and a place to sit and relax. I've got a lot of wood over here which is very tempting because I'd love to make a massive fire right now. <laughs> In a non-violent way, obviously. This is a good spot, but I'm sure it's even better at night when it's lit up with these fairy lights about me. Was I right? <laughs> then lastly, there is a garage at the back where you can park inside. So, that is the full tour of Casa Karu and Hrofrenet. I hope you've enjoyed this video enough to possibly come stay here in the future. So if you did, please like the video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.
I don't know what's happening here. These guys behind me are a little bit dodge, and they're telling me, oh, they're not looking at me, they're looking at this guy walking towards them across the road. <laughs> I hope I'm not about to get in the middle of something, eh? <laughs> Wish me good luck. I'm whispering, if you didn't notice. I'm um, not actually sh well, I'm falling. I'm sitting on this couch right now just trying to get the shot of me sitting on the couch, but I'm actually taking it as an excuse to have a break. It is ridiculously hot. <laughs>